so excited. We're going on our first bookstore trip of the year. Honestly, starting off 2024 strong. I've done a pretty good job of making a dent on my physical TBR pile and I'm actually running out of books to read. So I'm very happy to be heading out to Barnes and Noble today. We're going to make it a family day. My husband, my son, we're all going and it's going to be really fun. I am more than excited. I feel like I've said that I'm excited probably five times already. Before we head out to Barnes and Noble, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Ana Luisa. I've talked about Ana Luisa jewelry on my channel a million times. I'm always wearing pieces from their collection. They did send me some new pieces for 2024, so I'm very excited to share them with you. One of the main reasons why I love this brand so much is because they are super affordable. It can be very hard to find quality jewelry that isn't going to break your bank, especially in this economy. No one wants to spend thousands of dollars on jewelry when you can literally get an everyday expensive classy look for less and Ana Luisa offers such amazing quality pieces their quality is unmatched this necklace right here I actually got it last year so it's over a year old and I wear it all the time and it's in perfect perfect condition they did send me three bracelets that I'm obsessed with because they look so pretty stacked together these are the bracelets this one actually matches the necklace that I've had for over a year now ever since I received these bracelets over a month ago I have not taken them off and they are in perfect condition I literally shower clean do everything with them I also have a very small wrist and they fit perfectly so if you're worried that they're going to fall off if you have small wrists do not worry about that you can adjust them to your liking I also picked out these earrings absolutely gorgeous I'm wearing them today but they match with a ring that I've had from Annalisa for almost two years now and let me put my earring back on I wear this ring a ton and I'm always getting compliments it matches the earrings perfectly and it's just so gorgeous Annalisa ships anywhere in the U.S. they got you covered for free and fast shipping if you live outside the U.S. they have crazy affordable shipping options so don't feel left out and for any reason you want to create a return you can it's super easy with free shipping and exchanges they also have a worry free guarantee which means that they have a two-year warranty on all products name a brand that does that that is absolutely amazing i'll have all the pieces that i'm wearing linked in the description box below i will also have my code on the screen and in the description box below if you want to save money when you check them out and again i can't recommend this brand enough i absolutely love them thank you Anna Lisa, for sending me these pieces and you guys already know i'm obsessed with you so thank you so much for for working with me now it's time to head out to barnes and noble and get some books for the new year let's start off 2024 on a good note we actually just got to my favorite barnes and noble of all time it's in wesley chapel it has two floors we don't venture out to this barnes and noble that often just because it's a little bit further away and we honestly pass like three barnes and nobles on our way here but this one is just so big and it's my favorite one so i'm very excited also a bunch of different stores in the plaza where this barnes and noble is located so it's always just fun to come out here look at all the shops look at all the books i haven't bought any books to start off the year very excited to see what this Barnes and Noble's location has and maybe I'll pick up a few books who knows let's go inside
days after my bookstore trip after we went to barnes and noble we actually did a bunch of other stuff and by the time we got home it was pretty late and we all just went to sleep i didn't have a chance to film the book haul portion of this video but you know what i'm filming it today so that's all that matters i haven't bought physical books in such a long time i feel like it's been months and i haven't had book haul on my channel in forever i'm very excited to share the books that i ended up picking up at barnes and i also picked up two books at target as well the first book being fourth wing by rebecca yarrows i don't even know if this book needs any explanation because it's been all over the internet for the past year everyone has been raving about it i literally have not seen any negative reviews regarding fourth wing so i'm very excited to start it it is a fantasy novel i think it is a adult fantasy i go <gasps> why is the page <gasps> no tell me why i just noticed this that is so sad i just noticed that oh no way no freaking way that's annoying. All right, I'm going to try to ignore that. It goes, 20 year old Violet was supposed to enter the scribe quadrant, living a quiet life among books and history. Now the commanding general, also known as her tough as talents mother, has ordered Victoria to join the hundreds of candidates striving to become the elite of Navarre, dragon riders. But when you're smaller than everyone else and your body is brittle, death is only a heartbeat away because dragons don't bond to fragile humans. They incinerate them. With fewer dragons willing to bond than cadets, moats would kill Violet to better their own chances of success. The rest will kill her just for being her mother's daughter, like Zayden, the most powerful and ruthless ringleader in the writer's cauldron. She'll need every edge her wits can get her just to see the next sunrise. Yet with every day that passes, the war outside grows more deadly, the kingdom's protective wards are failing, and the death toll continues to rise. Even worse, Violet begins to suspect leadership is hiding a terrible secret. Friends, enemies, lovers, everyone at Buzgath, Buzgath War College has an agenda, because once you enter, there are only two ways out, graduate, or die. Very intense, very intense. This book is about 500 pages. Why does it look like it's way thicker than 500 pages or am I just bugging? <laughs> I don't know, but very excited to see what the hype is with Fourth Wing. I'm not gonna lie, I've seen a lot of bad reviews regarding Iron Flame, which is the second book in the Imperian series. I think that's what the series is called. So I'm excited about Fourth Wing, but I'm also nervous to actually fall in love with this book and then read Iron Flame and absolutely hate it. But we'll see how that goes. Then I picked up The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna. I read the synopsis and this song is so interesting and very different from what I normally gravitate towards. I normally gravitate towards fantasy romance thrillers and i think this one is a historical fiction but one of my reading goals for 2024 is to get out of my comfort zone and try reading books that are not necessarily part of like my favorite genres like i said this one sounded very interesting alaska 1974 the albrights are a family in crisis they are alone living off the grid in a harsh and unforgiving wilderness Ernst albright has come home from the vietnam war a changed and volatile man and has made the impulsive decision to move his wife and daughter north to america America's last true frontier. Cora Albright would do anything for the man she loves, even if it means following him into the unknown. 13-year-old Lenny, caught in the riptide of her parents' passionate, stormy relationship, has little choice but to go along, daring to hope this new land promises her family a better future. Hold on, my cat wants to leave the bedroom. Daring to hope this new land promises her family a better future. Even though they have found a small independent community of strong men and even stronger women, winter is approaching, darkness is descending, and her father's fragile mental state is deteriorating. Soon the perils outside pale in comparison to threats from within. In their small cabin, covered in snow, blanketed in 18 hours of night, Lenny and her mother learn the terrible truth. They are on their own. In the wild, there is no one to save them but themselves. I am so excited to start this book. I feel like it's going to make me cry. I don't know why, but I I already have a feeling I'm going to end up in tears with this one. Oh, it was actually rated Goodreads best historical novel of the year. When did this come out? I literally have not heard anyone talk about this book. This came out in 2018. Very excited. Then we have two books by K.L. Wather. Last year I actually read her book The Summer of Broken Rules and I love this book. So I decided to pick up two more books from her. I just love how these three books look together. I feel like her books are so aesthetic 
like and the covers are just so pretty but i picked up what happens after midnight and i think this one is a ya romance lily hopper has two more weeks until she's officially finished with boarding school with graduation quickly approaching lily is worried that she somehow missed out on the fun of being in high school when she receives a mysterious note inviting her to join the anonymous senior class jester in executing the end of year prank lily sees her chance to put her goody two-shoes reputation behind her when lily realizes the jester is none other than Targart Swell, her ex-boyfriend, she's already in too deep to back out and it's going to be a problem. Lily might have dumped tag, but she still has major feelings. Plus his brilliant plan to steal the school's yearbook targets none other than Lily's prom date, the senior class president, Daniel. As the group of pranksters hide cryptic clues across campus for Daniel to find, Lily and Tag find themselves in close quarters. As the axes dodge campus safety guards, night owl teachers, a troop of freshmen, and even Daniel himself, new sparks fly between them, but old hurts and painful secrets refuse to be ignored and with graduation on the horizon sometimes it takes letting go to realize that some bonds can't be broken so this sounds very much like second chance romance which i'm not gonna lie i'm not a huge fan of that trope but as i mentioned i fell in love with this author's writing through summer of broken rules so i'm going to give it a chance even though it includes a trope that i'm not a fan of then we have maybe meant to be which i think both of these books came out last year if i'm not mistaken so they're pretty new releases and this one I believe is also YA. Does she only write YA books? Oh wait, I think this came out in 2020. Everyone at the Bexley school believes that Sage and Charlie are meant to be. Even though Charlie seems to have a new girlfriend every month and Sage has never had a real relationship, their friends and family all know it's just a matter of time until they realize they are actually in love. When Luke shows up on campus, his presence immediately shakes things up. Charlie and Luke are drawn to each other the moment they meet, giving Sage the opportunity to spend time with Charlie's twin brother, Nick. But Charlie is afraid of what others will think if he accepts that he has much more than a friendship with Luke. And Sage fears that if she lets things with Nick get too serious too quickly, they won't be able to last as a couple outside of high school and they'll miss their chance at forever. Charlie and Sage will need to rely on each other and their lifelong friendship to figure things out with the boys they love. Is this dual POV? Yes, I freaking love dual POV. And the synopsis honestly sounded like nothing I've ever read before. So I'm very curious to see how Charlie and Sage's relationship play out and how their friendship grows so very excited again another very pretty cover the next book that I picked up was the summer plays honestly the cover gave me summer vibes and I'm like ready for warmer temperatures it's been rainy kind of chilly where I live so I'm looking forward to warmer temperatures and I've been in the mood for beach reads and this sounded like it's going to be a really good summer book but it goes when her 22 year old stepdaughter announces her engagement to her pandemic boyfriend Sarah is shocked, but the wheels are in motion. Ruby has already set a date and spoken to her beloved Safta, Sarah's mother, Veronica, about having the wedding at the family's beach house in Cape Cod. Sarah might be worried, but Veronica is thrilled to be bringing the family together one last time before putting the big house on the market. But still, the road to a wedding day usually comes with a few bumps. Ruby has always known exactly what she wants, but as the wedding day approaches, she finds herself grappling with the wounds left by the mother who walked out when she was a baby. Lovers are revealed as their true selves, misunderstandings take on a life of their own and secrets come to light. There are confrontations and revelations that will touch each member of the extended family, ensuring that nothing will ever be the same. The Summer Place is a testament to family in all its messy glory, a story about what we sacrifice and how we forgive. Enthralling, witty, big-hearted, and sharply observed, this is Jennifer's love letter to the outer cape and the power of home, the way our lives are enriched by the people we call family and the endless ways love can surprise us. I'm so excited to start this. It's definitely going to put me in the summer mood mood and it's going to be my first beach read of 2024 all right you guys there we have it these are all the books that i picked up and as i mentioned probably a million times already in this video i am so excited to start all of these let me know in the comments below if you read any of these books what were your thoughts your opinions i would love to know before i go don't forget to check out anna luisa literally have not taken off their jewelry i absolutely love this brand i'll have my discount code on the screen as well as in the description box below and links to everything so you can easily check them out buy yourself a gift to start off 2024 on the right foot and i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you a part of my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys